Hi everyone. So today I thought I'd show you some of my basic leg stretches that I do a lot that I think are really beneficial towards climbing. Hope you enjoy. So before we get into stretching, it's always important to warm your muscles up so that they're not super rigid and you're hopefully not going to injure yourself. Um, one of the ways I like to do this is by massaging them with a foam roller. Uh, it's quite easy to do. I'll show you a couple of basic exercises, I guess. So you can just put the foam roller down, you can put two legs or do one leg at a time and then you just roll over it and this helps relieve some of the stress to your muscle. If you want to like make it put like more force through it, put one leg over the other and if you want to take weight off then obviously you can put one leg down and push through it. And you can do this on basically all the muscles in your body. Okay, so the first stretch, you stay sitting down, you put one leg out straight, bring the other leg in against and press it against your leg, then try and keep your hips as forward as possible, and then just lean towards your foot. Hold for each of these stretches, you want to hold for 10 to 30 seconds, ideally pushing towards 30, but depends I guess how aggressive you go into them. So once you've held it, you then keep that leg forward, bring the other leg back so you get about a 90 degree angle, and then once again lean towards your foot. Then once you've held it on this side, you want to swap over, so bring the other leg out straight, bring the first leg in against your other leg, and lean forward. Then, once again, you bring the second leg, get the 90 degree angle, and lean forward again. For the next stretch, you get down into a sort of lunge position. So you bring one foot back, put one foot forward, and then just try and sink as low as you can and it should sort of stretch all in your sort of hip groin area. And the idea is to just sort of keep pushing down as far as you can. Then once you've held this one, you drop your back knee so you can put your foot down and then see if you can get even lower and then hold it again. Then, go and swap over to the other side, so foot up at the back, foot forward, and sink in. Then drop the back knee again, and go down. So the next stretch is called uh, butterfly and um, so basically you just sit on the ground, you put your feet together, you pull them to try and get as close to yourself as you can and then you try and push your knees towards the floor and then you hold it as low as you can. If you can't quite get them far enough or you want to try and push a bit further, you sort of bounce your knees so that you look a bit like a butterfly which I think is where it gets its name. Okay, so the next stretch is downwards dog. For this, you stand with your feet just slightly apart, um, or about shoulder width. Then you walk your, you lean down, walk your hands forward a bit, and then try and straighten your legs. And if you can't quite do that, bend one leg, keep the other one straight, kind of bend, push into it, and then swap over. And it's a lot easier to kind of alternate with one leg than keep both. But the idea is, 
Oh, that you really push into it. I struggle a lot with this one. Okay, for the next stretch, you lie down on your back, you bring one leg up, you place it on your other leg's knee, and then you kind of, you can hold behind your leg, and then slowly pull it towards you. And this again should stretch your sort of hamstring and butt area, I guess. <laughs> Then. And then of course swap over, so placing your sort of ankle and knee again, lifting up, and then pulling it towards you. Okay. Okay, so the next stretch, I think it's called 90-90, and that's because when, while sitting, you bring one leg forward and you kind of sit it at about 90 degree angles and then you bring the other leg and you have that at 90 degree angles to your front leg and then you try and keep your hips as square as possible facing this way and then just sort of lean forward and it should stretch in your butt. And then this one's quite fun to swap over. You can actually try and do a weird sort of mobility rock over and then you keep your legs in the same place. Okay, the next one. Um, it's pretty basic, it's just for your calf. You stand one foot in front of the other, you bend the back leg, and then you just lean forward, keeping this leg straight, and try and touch your toes. I struggle at this. Okay, and swap over, so the back leg's bent and lean forward. Okay. Okay, so the next stretch is sort of standing straddle. Um, so you stand with your legs a bit further than shoulder width apart, and then you just try to keep your back straight and lean forward. I again feel this stretch up the backs of my legs. Once you've held that, you then will keep one of your feet facing forward, turn the other one, and then try and lean sideways over and go down to your foot. Then you do the other side, so bring that foot back, turn the other, and go down. Okay. Okay, and the last stretch is normally a lot easier if you've got something to hold on to, but it's just Standing on one leg, holding your other foot, bring it to your bum, like towards your bum, and then just pulling in, and you should feel it stretching down your quads. Okay, and then swapping over, show you from the side. So one leg up, and then pulling it in. I hope you enjoyed this video. Now remember, these are just some, like a few of the basic leg exercises that you can do. Uh, 
It is important though that you do vary and potentially like leave some out if they hurt too much and add other ones in and just keep going at them and then uh, you'll hopefully see lots of progress.